Welcome to NPYIS, Jen. NP what now? NPYIS. Not protecting your identity. Super good. You're just in time. This is our crime scene. No, that's my apartment? It's a gold mine for identity thieves. I know I should probably be more concerned about the camera in my apartment right now, but for the sake of learning more about identity theft, what? How? Look here. Trash can. And hands. Mail with your full name and address, old bank statements, an expired credit card. These need to be shredded beyond recognition before they get thrown out, or someone could scoop your identity out of a recycling bin. Oh man, I didn't realize that. Not many people do. And look here. Wallets. And hats. Whoa. Do you really need to carry all that stuff with you every day? Well, no, I just kind of keep it there. Uh, anything needlessly in your wallet can be needlessly stolen. Carry the bare minimum with you and store the rest in a secure place. Hmm. Smartphone. Enhance. Phones in the wrong hands are a portal to your personal information. Passcode protect them or use an app that will wipe the phone if it gets lost or stolen. And don't store PIN codes or passwords in to-do list apps. But they're so handy. Well, they're handy for identity thieves, too. So are your social media posts. Don't overshare. Don't broadcast when you're going out of town. And don't post photos of latte art. Latte art? Why? Because I'm sick of seeing them in my news feed. Oh, sir. Coffee shop surveillance just came in. Hmm. During transactions, keep your card in sight at all times and use your hand to cover your PIN number. And things like banking and online shopping should never be done from a public Wi-Fi network. Gotcha. Let's check out your workstation, computer, and hats. It looks like you only shop on trusted sites. That's good. Good job. Web browser, and hats, and hats, and hats, and hats. That's better. When entering personal information online, look for HTTPS and that padlock symbol. It means it's secure. Email, and hats. Look out for suspicious-looking emails and links. Thieves will pose as large companies and ask for personal information, hoping you won't notice the difference. Sketchy email addresses and URLs can give them away. Cool. Install spam filters and antivirus software to protect yourself from these instances. Emails are not secure, so you should never send personal information by email. And of course, never use the same password for everything. Sir, results are back from the lab. She uses the same password for everything. If you can't do it yourself, then you can use a trusted secure password manager app to do it for you. Well, if I didn't need it before, I definitely need it now. All right. What's that there? Kitty cat. Enhance. Hey, my cat is not an identity thief. I know. I'm just investigating how cute it is. Ah, adorable. Uh, vigilance is also an important part of keeping your identity safe. Familiarize yourself with your billing cycles so that you can tell if a statement doesn't show up or your mail gets tampered with. Sir, this just came in. Identity theft reported. Phone scam, fake contest for a cruise. I'm on it. Computer, enhance. Ah, so cool. Enhance. This is my cat, Smokey, and this over here is Mittens. This is my cat, Bella. She's allergic to pineapple. 